Today, I'm going to talk about space filling curves, a very interesting mathematical object that has applications in stock market pricing as well as natural phenomena such as how a tree evolves. So, on this slide, you see two sets of objects. On the left, you see three objects, a cat, a dog and a giraffe. On the right hand side, you see a set containing also three objects, a leaf, a bone and a fish. How do we know that these two sets are of the same size? Of course, we can count, but the mathematical way that we do this is via a correspondence or a connection between the objects on the left and the objects on the right. So for example, the cat likes to eat the fish, the giraffe likes to eat leaves, and the dog likes to eat the bone. So in this way, we have a link from each object on the left to each object on the right. This is one way and a very important way for us to ascertain that both sets have the same size. On this slide, I show you two other sets, each of which has infinitely many numbers. So on the left graph, you see that I've indicated a set in red, which is a set of all real numbers from 0 to 1. On the right hand side, I've indicated all pairs of real numbers from 0 to 1, i.e. those numbers that lie in the square. Now, I ask you a question. Do these sets have the same size? You might think this is impossible, but in the late 1800s, George Cantor showed that this is possible and in fact, we can come up with a continuous map. A continuous map is one in which you can use a pen to draw a line without lifting the pen off the paper. What I'm going to show you is in fact, how this continuous map or a correspondence between points on the line between 0 and 1 and pairs of points in the square, in the unit square, can be linked together. As the number of levels of a so-called transform evolves, this square gets filled with a particular line. And if I increase the number of levels, the square becomes more and more filled. Eventually, every point on the unit square will be covered by this line. Since what we are doing here is we are filling up the space, in this case a square, with just solely a line, this is called a space filling curve. So what I have shown you is what is known as a simple fractal. Fractals have a variety of applications. The first is the evolution of prices in the stock market. They evolve in a seemingly random manner and can be analyzed in the same way as the space filling curve, which is also a fractal that we have seen. 